Hello and welcome. So far, we have seen various algorithms and built predictive models for the same. For every algorithm, there were some parameters that we used and we provided them before training the algorithm. How do we know which combination of these parameters will give us the best results? These parameters are also known as hyperparameters and they act like knobs which we tune to get the best results. For example, the decision trees require us to specify maximum number of leaves per tree, minimum number of samples per leaf node, learning rate, number of trees to construct and so on. Whereas for logistic regression, we need to specify optimization tolerance, L1 regularization weight, L2 regularization weight, memory size for BFGS and so is the case for all the other models that we need to build. So how do we choose the best combination? That's where the tune model hyperparameter module helps us in determining the best possible combination to achieve a desired result. Depending upon the scenario, we might be interested in getting highest accuracy or precision or recall or AUC. Tune model hyperparameter helps us to achieve the same. It uses what are called as parameter sweeping modes for these hyperparameters. It supports random grid, entire grid and random sweep for tuning or optimizing the hyperparameters. So what is the grid? Well, it's a Cartesian product for a set of parameters or simply put a grid of various parameter values. Let's assume we have parameter 1 which can take the values from 1 to 3. And there is a second parameter which can take the values from A to D. So the resultant grid would look something like this, which is nothing but all the possible combinations of parameter 1 and parameter 2. The random grid sweeping mode simply selects the random combination of these values and runs the algorithm for all the selected combinations. Whereas the entire grid sweeping mode runs the algorithm for all the possible combinations. However, as it is running for all the combinations, naturally it's going to be slow in providing us the results. In case of random sweep, it simply creates various random possible combinations and within the range of the parameters and also runs the algorithm for the number of points or iterations we have asked for. Let's try to understand it by logging into the Azure ML Studio and applying it to one such algorithm. Let's use the adult census data for predicting the income. I have already copied and processed the data processing steps it needs. All right, and let's use the logistic regression for this. We have already covered the parameters it requires. So let's straight away go to tune model hyperparameter and search for it. There it is and let me drag and drop it here. All right, let's now connect the train data set to the tune model hyperparameter and also the two class logistic regression to the tune model hyperparameters module. You can add the score and evaluate model if need be. For the purpose of the demonstration of this module, I'm going to stop here for now. And before we run this, there are a couple of important things we need to do. For the model, we have used only the single parameter for the create trainer mode. That's what we have done so far. 
for the tone model hyperparameter we are going to specify a range of parameters so that it can select the right combination from the grid that gets created okay so we select parameter range as the create trainer mode and as you can see the values that we need to specify have now changed to different parameter sets so we specify those different values such as these two values for optimization tolerance and 0 0.0 0 0.01 0 0.1 and 1.0 for l1 regularization weight and 0 0.01 0 0.1 and 1.0 for l2 regularization weight we are also going to provide different set of values for memory size let's keep it to 5 20 and 50 that does the required setup for our untrained model next we need to set up the tune model hyperparameter so let's first select the outcome variable by launching the column selector in this case it is income all right let's select income from this list and click ok we also need to specify the parameter sweeping mode and we select random grid we have seen it what it is in the explanation slides few minutes before we also specify how many points it should select from the grid and we mention that as five so it is going to select five points from the grid provide random seed as one two three and we have already selected the level column for every model that we train there could be various business scenarios and we may want to get the best values for either accuracy auc or precision and so on for classification and similarly different values could be of our interest if it is regression all right so we select that option using this drop down here for now we are going to keep it as accuracy as the desired parameter okay we now are ready to run it all right it's running and I'm going to pause this video and come back when it has finished running as it may take a while. Well, it has run successfully and let's now visualize the output. As you can see, the algorithm was run for five different combinations here and it has provided the one with highest accuracy at the top. It makes life much simpler for those who are not very sure about which combination to use. Once we have run the turn model hyperparameters, we do not require a train module. It's already trained and we are going to select the best combination for scoring the model. So I'm going to find the score model here, drag and drop it onto the canvas connect the second node of trained based model to the score model connect the test data set from the split module to the second node over here and we are good to run it it has run successfully and you can evaluate it further as you can see it gives the ability to a novice data scientist to choose the best parameters to come up with great results. Try it out for various data sets and various combinations running in parallel to visualize and compare the results. For now, we have come to the end of this module. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next lecture. Until then, enjoy your time.